Adding basic customization to your RPG Maker game's title screen is very intuitive and easy through the project's database. Firstly, open your project's database and navigate to the System 1 tab. There's a section in the middle for editing the appearance of your title screen. You can select a background for your title screen under Images. This will show you a list of files from your project's Titles 1 and Titles 2 folders in the Image folder. The difference between these two folders is purely so you can have an image that overlaps your original title image, like a border or other decoration. It's not necessary to use both, but the default files will showcase how this feature works. If you tick the Draw Game Title box under this, the name of your game will be displayed on the title screen on top of the image. By default, your title screen will have a command window with the option to start or load your game, as well as access the settings. You can change the background of this window by switching between Window, which uses the default window graphic, Dim, which uses a half-transparent dark background, or Transparent, which won't show a background. You can also change the X and Y offset of the window to move it around the screen. In the Terms tab of the database at the very bottom, you'll find the terminology your game will use for the options in the command window. You can change the words for New Game and Continue here. You'll find the one for Options slightly further up at the bottom of the command section. While you can use the default settings provided to customise a very serviceable title screen, there are plugins available for further specialised customization. Some of the available plugins can add functionality like being able to use a map as your title screen, which would allow full creative control over what's displayed. There are also plugins that can customise the existing menu options as well as add new ones. Thanks for watching.